because all the original is accurate replicas. Wow. Of replicas. Okay. Um, so this um, lady is dressed um, mid Victorian period. My costume is um, 18, roughly 1850. It's not original. Um, it's made of silk. Um, it's a day dress, 1850-ish. Um, so when Queen Victoria was about um, in her 20s, she came to the throne in 1837. Um, they wore lots of layers to get the shape of the costume. Um, it changed over time during that, that period of her reign and the fashion and the way ladies liked to look. Um, at this point, it was big skirt, tiny waist. And the way that, that was created was with a corset, which goes over drawers here, um, which we use a knee length, a chemise, which was just a basic garment which protected the wearer from um, the corset from rubbing their skin um, and just gave them a, an extra layer. The corset is actually laced at the back. You could lace it depending on how small your waist, you wanted your waist to be, you could get it to be closed or you could have it open like we've done here. Um, and then it just closed at the front like, like that with the poppers. And then over the top, um, you either put petticoats or um, a crinoline. This lady has a crinoline. Um, these were only fashionable for a short period of time, uh, a few years, and they created a very domed shape. There's also a bustle at the back. Um, as time went by, um, they became flatter at the front and the bustle at the back got bigger. So I don't know whether you've been into the King's Gallery yet, but when you do, my colleagues in there is wearing a, a later Victorian outfit, 1880 or so, and hers yeah, has a bustle at the back. Yeah. Does the bustle go up to the waist <coughs> or just on the bottom? It's just on the bottom, it just rests oh, on the back. It, it hangs here or yes. up, up the waist? Um, just, well, it's just attached, just attached to the waist, then it would hang here. Um, over time they got larger, um, so by the late Victorian period they were went all the way down the back of the dress. Um, so the crinoline was only for a short period of time. When they weren't wearing that, they'd be wearing layers of petticoats, like on this dress. Um, you always wore a smooth petticoat, either over your petticoats or over the crinoline, which just stopped the boning from showing through. The boning was either made of metal or whalebone, of which this is an example. Um, which obviously you could bend it and it was strong so it wouldn't snap easily. 